It's one thing to see your product on paper or on a computer screen, but quite another to physically hold it in your hands. Hi, I'm Mike Dragonis, and welcome to the third of a series of videos on our product manufacturing process. In the first two videos, we cover the planning phase as well as the design phase of your product development. At this point, with a finalized design, we're ready to go into the prototype phase, and we refer to these prototypes as beta prototypes. These are suitable for demonstrating your product to potential customers, as well as performing any testing to qualify your design. It should be as close to production ready as possible. We usually build multiple prototypes because they need to be reviewed by different people with different interests. Designers will need prototypes to test for performance and functionality. Regulatory agencies will use them for safety and other compliance testing. End users will evaluate the prototype for fit in their workflow. But beyond the prototype itself, this stage is also used to verify the assembly and testing process and to identify potential problems with the supply chain. As components and suppliers are identified for the supply chain, realistic cost projections will be developed. We will use this stage to identify high cost components and develop alternative plans to reduce those cost projections. A completed prototype is an important milestone in any new product development project. If you have a new product in mind, we'd love to talk to you about it. To learn more, call us or visit our website.